hi it's agnes and welcome back to my channel so i am back to continue with my uh, designer handbag collection 2021 i did uh the first series last week which was my vintage louis vuitton handbag collection which is the most in my collection i think so i have decided this year to kind of split them or just do like a series because I didn't want to make it very long like I did last year so yeah so today I have my vintage Chanel handbag collection and when I say vintage most of these bags are more than 20 years old and there's a couple or so that are actually more than probably more than 30 years old I think yeah so yeah let's get started so they're all pre-loved and very some of them are really worn and well used and well loved so let's carry on and the first one i'll show you is this beautiful chanel um vintage maxi bag in the lambskin leather this is one of my favorite bags it's quite big and i use it as mostly as a travel bag or we can get away because of its size like a, like you can see it's really really massive and you can see the the cutting is like flattened this is what happens when a Chanel bag is old. I mean, they just go flat and they lose their puffiness. And then this, the CCs, the vintage ones, were actually um, coated with uh, 18 karat gold, real gold. So there's some real gold coating here. But this is one of my best bags. I mean, I'll never let go of this bag. So it's got this chunky strap. It's actually bigger than the normal uh, Chanel strap. And yeah, it's just a big size. Like you can see the size, the side of it. It's a really big, a unique uh, bag. I've seen the beige color bag, but I've never seen the exact type like this one. But yeah, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, it goes with literally everything because it's a beige neutral color. So yeah, I love this one so much. And I will carry on. Another vintage bag that I have in my collection is this uh, beautiful um blush color chanel gst in uh silver hardware it's well used like as you can see uh yeah it's seen its better days and this one actually is no longer mine i have given it to my daughter because she kept asking for it she likes to carry it to university it carries her books and files in this bag it's big enough that it does fit a macbook uh, average size macbook and yeah it's a well-loved uh vintage bag in this blush color yeah it's in caviar leather yeah i i use it as well i mean i i just thought it's time to let go so my daughter have, has it because it, it doesn't feel like mine anymore because she's always using it so i've kind of let go of this bag right here and then the next bag i'll show you is another rare bag it is called the um Westminster bag it is a rare find this bag was a limited edition I can't remember which year but obviously this one is an old one well used some time back some years back so yeah, yeah Chanel designed this bag and called it the Westminster bag so it's got a, a signature to it so the signature to this bag is got the, um, a pearl strap and here it's got pearls around where are they straps go inside the bag and then the interlocking seas are pearls as well so that what's uh so that's the signature for these bags the pearls that's what makes it different and it's got other uh two plain um gold chains gold tone chains so you can carry it like this just use the ordinary chanel strap or you can actually carry it with these uh all of them together with the pearls like this but i like to because it's more like a dressy bag so i'll just drop these chains and the pearls down like this and then just use the ordinary strap and it feels more comfortable like rather than having all these together i feel comfortable and i just drop this it's kind of a dressy uh bag so normally when i'm going out for like a lunch or a dinner or when I i'm a little bit dressed up that's when I use this bag so and on the back just an ordinary jumbo with a pocket and it's in calf skin so it's not uh, distressed calf skin it's just ordinary calf skin and it's not uh, lump skin so it's quite uh, durable it's quite tough and you know 
I'm gonna have this bag for a long time. Again, it's a limited edition. It's a vintage bag, which I will have for a long time. So yeah, I love to collect vintage bags. And I think the brand new bags, I love them so much, but I cannot afford them. They're just way, way too expensive for me. The next bag I'll show you is another vintage, which is the oldest, I think, in my collection. I have two that I feel are really old. Uh, that are really old. Not that I feel, but they are really old. Um, this one I'm going to show you, I think, was made in the 60s, late 60s, probably early 70s. It is the original Chanel bag before the interlocking CC. So it's got the, uh, you know, the, this is the original uh, lock that Chanel used before they created or before they came up with the interlocking CCs. So this was the uh, the one that Coco Chanel created when she studied these bags before the interlocking CCs. So it's got the um, uh, Luthanian hardware and it's really heavy because it's vintage. It's in uh, a lambskin leather, which is really tough actually. For a lamp skin and that's the back as you can see the cutting is like flat obviously because it is a, a very old bag like um close to 50 years i guess or if not slightly a bit more than 60 um more than 50 years old so this bag i got it from uh, a lady and a, a lady friend of mine uh, so she was the first owner of this bag and she's had it she said close to 50 years and then because it's worn so it was it just ended up in the attic before she decided to sell it off so i i was the lucky uh buyer of this bag so and i'll show you the actual reissue so after this bag uh chanel created the this this jumbo bag the chanel jumbo so this one has the interlocking CCs. So this is what they created. And this is also vintage. This bag is also more than 20 years old. You can see the cutting is almost uh, losing its puffiness as well. So it's the Chanel Jumbo. This is in lambskin leather as well. Really, really nice. And you can smell that, you know, the old <laughs> leather, so. This one has uh, interlocking seeds. And then, so like I say, this is the original lock. And then they created this one. Um, and then after they created this one, they decided to create, um, they, to bring back the lock. And then they called it the Chanel reissue. So basically, it's uh, kind of similar yeah kind of similar so they tried to recreate the old the vintage one when they brought in the the the, the redesigned the the bag they called this one the reissue so mine is in the calf skin this is in, in the distressed calf skin and it's the only bag that is made in italy so it's got this fold because it's meant to you can put it under your arm and it can fold just like the vintage one it also can fold on the bottom you see that so that's the signature for this original bag or the reissue whereas the uh actual these one do not fold they're actually structured on the bottom so the reissue does fold so yeah they created the reissue and uh they tried to make it exactly the same. The lock is actually similar. And uh, the hardware, the Luthanium hardware, I'll show you the difference. I mean, they tr obviously tried to make it exactly the same. But there is some difference between the old, the original, and the um, reissue. The old one or the original, the original bag is actually heavier. The metal is heavier. This one is a bit lighter. But the design of the chain is basically the same, but obviously it cannot be like exactly because it was just reissued. So this bag was made in Italy, my only reissue bag. It's in really good condition and I love it to be. Uh, like I said, it's in the distressed uh, calf skin leather. 
in this gray in a, like a dark gray so it's one of my favorite bags i like it because of the size you can use it as a crossbody as well yeah one of my beautiful bags that i adore so much another bag that i have is another vintage bag which uh i don't know how old but it's definitely more than 20 years old it is uh this black little bag it's got this crossbody chain it's in a uh, lamp skin and yeah it's just a beautiful bag it's like a saddle bag but yeah vintage obviously yeah so cute i like the lamp skin it's so soft and it smells really <laughs> vintage as well so another jumbo that i'd like to show you is right here this is my I think this is the only one that is not that old. I don't think it's more than 20 years old, this one. So this was a gift uh, from my husband, one of our anniversaries. Uh, but I chose the bag anyway. It's a, it was pre-loved. Uh, so it's a jumbo in red and gold hardware. And this one is in Cartier leather. And it's more structured as to, compared to an um, ordinary... Um, lambskin like this one this one is also a jumbo but obviously this is vintage in lambskin and this is the uh caviar leather red bag and uh moving on i have my uh another chanel gst this one is mine in the lambskin leather and these bags actually discontinued. Chanel doesn't ma make these bags anymore, but you can still get them on the pre-loved market. So mine is in the lambskin leather and it's in gold hardware. And yeah, pre-loved again, well used, it's quite old. Yeah, it's an old bag, but I like it. I still use it and I still enjoy it. So I've got four more bags and then I've got a pouch as well to show you. So I've got this beautiful Chanel pouch. So this was designed for a blackberry old blackberry phone so i've had this for more than 10 years this pouch and then i've decided to repurpose it to use it i mean rather than just keeping it as a pouch i just attached uh, a strap from zara this is a strap um from zara is by zara and then I just use it like a little crossbody bag. You just put my card when I'm running errands, going to the supermarket for food shopping. I just carry this, put my cards and my, my cash. And then, yeah, good to go. Keeps me hands free. It's in lambskin leather. Really pretty little pouch. And then next, I have another old, old bag. So this one could be more than 30 years or maybe, I think it was made in probably... The early 80s or so i think or mid 80s or even earlier than that so this is called the kelly bag it's a very vintage bag uh, it's got a small uh, chanel uh interlock there cc and yeah it's called the chanel kelly bag the vintage one obviously they don't make this bag anymore they make this bag similar to this they make a bag similar to this one it's called the chanel coco handle but obviously this is old, it's a lambskin and uh, yeah, really old, well-used, well-loved bag. So I got this bag from the same seller, the lady that I got, my oldest Chanel bag, I got this one from her as well. So I have another one which is almost identical to this one, it's in black. I will show it to you right now. Here it is. It is another Chanel Kelly bag. They're like the same. In beige and in black so this one is in lambskin like you can see an old lambskin you can see the cutting is flat so this one is in the caviar caviar leather it's vintage this bag is also more than 20 years old um yeah well used world love world love bag um yeah i just appreciate the fact that they're old and they're still looking really good this bag so so this is this the front and the back it's got a pocket there unlike the other one so it's called the chanel kelly vintage kelly bag i just love the condition of this bag but obviously it's losing its puffiness as well because it's 
more than 20 years old it's an old bag but it's just a gorgeous bag the quality of this caviar leather is just stunning i love love this bag and then i've got my last two and then they also my favorite i do love these bags i just can't wait to share with you so these are my bubble bags they're called bubble cutie bags here they are i've got two of them one in white and one in black so i got this one in 2019 and then i got this one last year towards the end i think just two weeks ago just before the new year i think was it after christmas well after christmas actually i got this one just before hitting 2021 so they're both in lambskin leather i'll just show you one at a time shall we so i'll start with the black one the one i got in 2019 both pre-loved i mean these bags are just stunning they were a limited edition well it's the same edition they were made at the same time obviously they're called bubble bags or bubble cutie you can check them online if you just google type chanel bubble bags they'll come up so yeah this one is was in uh lambskin in black gold hardware it's got a big uh like chanel uh charm there it's actually attached to these straps so these straps when you carry it on your shoulder they actually close the bag but they also they have a d-ring so it was supposed to come with a, like a cross body bag uh cross body strap but it didn't come with one and so i just improvised whilst i'm looking for an original strap i just got this online on ebay this is a resin strap in like a black and some kind of clear color but yeah it does work when i want it to slouch so that's the difference when i use this it will just slouch like that which i like better and then when i use these ones it closes it up completely so actually i feel comfortable when i use this one but the good thing is that these pads are equally comfortable so yeah i love oh i do love these bags so again these are were a limited edition i you can really if you want to buy this bubble bag it's very very rare to find it does appear once in a while on the pre-loved market but it's really it's a very rare uh piece and they are very rare pieces so this is the white one right here so it's got a similar handle like this one it's got the, the padded bit there and this one is in silver hardware and uh yeah it's got the cc in silver as well it's just a stunning stunning amazing bag i'm so happy to have them so the bottom is just like basically the same as this one very very lucky to have this bag again i got them from the same lady the same seller so she keeps uh replacing her bag so yeah here's the bag and i am so much in love with this bag really really in love with this bag it's just stunning it's got a uh, pocket here on the back that's a that's a difference it's got a pocket there it's a magnetic pocket but it's just a stunning like the most most beautiful chanel bag and I was looking for a designer bag in white, and I was so lucky to have found to have, uh, you know, to have been offered to buy this bag. So she just offers me, sends me pictures, and then I just go rushing <laughs> to get this bag. So yeah, my two bubble bags that I love so much. So this concludes my Chanel handbag collection. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you are new, you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to watch more of my videos. So I'll continue with the series next week. So probably next week I'm going to do uh, my Gucci handbag collection. And then the following week I'm just going to do the rest of my uh, uh, handbags, which are in different brands like Balenciaga, uh, Fendi, uh prada and so on and so forth so thank you so much for your time if you have thumbs up leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for your time i'll see you soon it's bye for now